video taking you through the results for an SEO campaign we're running for one of our house cleaning clients. Uh, so these guys are based out in Washington. Um, and as you can see down here, um, these are the keywords that we're, we're targeting. Um, you know, your, your home cleaning, house cleaning, maid service, house cleaning, home cleaning, all the different variants that you would expect. And we've got three columns here. We've got the, the organic desktop, organic mobile, local pack. So um, the organic results, if we go here, refer to, so if, if you type in, say, house cleaners near me, uh, the, the top sections here are the ads results. The middle section is the, the, the Google business profile section. So this refers to the, it's also called the, the map pack or the local pack. So this is the third column down here. And then the organic listings are uh, the listings that come below the, the map section. So when we um, bring up our report um, for our clients, um, you know, your ranking will, will differ according to the specific keyword you, you've entered. Uh, I've put house cleaners near me, but if we put in remodel cleaning, um, we would have a different ranking um, if we did the search in organic, search in mobile, or, you know, our visibility uh, in the, the map pack. So, you know, we, we run SEO campaigns for well over 40 cleaning companies. So what we are trying to do is to basically hit rank one on desktop, mobile, and the map pack. And if we're doing that, we're running a, you know, a perfect SEO strategy. That has never happened. I've never come across it, even in my own cleaning company. So we wanna try to basically get these rankings across these three sections um, as high um, as possible. So in this video, I'm just gonna run you through some of the results we're getting, as well as you know how we're getting there. And hopefully uh, this will be really helpful for you. So as you can see, as, as we, we go down this list, um, you know, you can see position one, two, three, four, and the, the rankings here. And these are the changes. So the green arrows show that we're, we've made improvements. Um, and actually, you can make big improvements when you're, say, at position 100. But as you get towards the top of page one, things get much, much more competitive. And you'll find that the lion's share of people coming to people's websites happens in those top three rankings. You know, if you're position two, it's much more than three. If you're in position one, you get you get even more than two so we want to try and make you know even making these small improvements will have a big impact in terms of the traffic volume and the lead volume here so you know these are all the different uh, variants of um house cleaning that you would expect and we're obviously working on trying to maintain the high rankings for these um these these ones at the top and then obviously try and move these ones up and that's really what seo strategy is all about uh, we're trying to get ranked higher so we can get more clicks to our website obviously more clicks on our website means more people calling in and ultimately more clients booking with us so we're getting really good results for this client. We're still relatively early, only a few months in, um, but how have we got to that position? Um, and this is what I just wanna spend a few minutes on this video, um, you know, and, and hopefully it will help you guys. So as I said, you know, SEO refers to the organic section plus the map section. So the map's in the middle and then the organic. We wanna try and rank as high up on both these sections as possible for all our main keywords. Um, and, you know, you know, one of the questions I get asked a lot by people is how do I know we're doing SEO well or not? Um, you know, I get a lot of people getting in touch saying, you know, maybe we have an SEO already looking after things, but I don't know if they're doing a good job or not. And this is where tracking is really important. You know, I'm a big, you know, I'm a big sort of data guy. I, I love all the tracking. I think it's super important. If we're not tracking stuff, we've got no idea if things are working or not. So, you know, really, we need to be tracking how the, the keywords, uh, the, the rankings of each keywords is changing with time, because if we have made a certain change and the keyword has gone up, we know that's a positive impact. You know, if it's gone down, we probably need to reverse it. Um, and there'll be other things where it has an impact on a long list of our keywords, others where it just has a specific impact on a specific keyword. So we need to track the keyword rankings very closely. And then, as I said, as we move up, up to page one, up to those higher positions, we'll start, you know, more people will start seeing our listing. More people will then start, um, you know, a, a greater number of people will see our listing. A percentage of those will click on our website 
percentage of those people on our website will then call us and then a percentage of those will then become booked clients and that is really the sales funnel so we can use google analytics as a uh, you know as a great tool to help us track this you can see how your organic or your seo traffic is changing and by setting up all the tracking the lead tracking you can see how your lead volume is changing for those organic channels and then obviously you know within your scheduling software you can see which of those clients are then becoming booked clients but it all starts off with your keyword selection because if we are getting ranked for you know cleaning jobs near me or how do i clean a bathtub you know they're cleaning related searches but they're not high dollar keywords so what i mean by high dollar keywords is are these people if you're ranked high for those searches, are those people likely to become a paying customer of yours? If they are, they are a high dollar keyword. If they're not, it doesn't really matter if you're being ranked for those keywords. So we want to focus our efforts on the high keywords, high dollar keywords. And really this comes down to two specific groups. So I call them service or service plus location keywords. So, you know, in the house cleaning space, we've got lots of different variations of the house cleaning term you know we've got residential cleaners we've got maid service we've got housekeepers we've got cleaning companies cleaning services those would all be examples of what i call service type keywords a service plus location keyword is some when someone types in house cleaners in orange county or maid service orange county cleaning companies near me so there's a location term included uh, in the search as well. And that's really, you know, those two groups are really, really important. Obviously people use mobile now, um, so the near me term is more important, but we want to be in front, we want to be ranking high for both of those groups because those two categories of cleaning related searches are people who are, who are likely to be very interested in what we offer. They're high dollar keywords, we're likely to get a high conversion rate and a high percentage of booked clients. So it all starts off with the keyword selection. We need to make sure that, you know, the key, we, we, we go after the right keywords. If we select the wrong keywords and spend all our time and effort going after the wrong keywords and those keywords aren't converting, it's a complete waste of time. So this is really the foundation. This is really where we need to do a lot of research to make sure we've nailed the most important keywords for our business at the beginning. So then once we've got the keywords, it becomes a case of optimizing for uh, our organic traffic, as we said, um, and then the, uh, the Google My Business profile, the Google Business Profile section below. So how do we optimize for organic? And actually, these activities, these actions directly impact our Google My Business Profile as well. So, you know, we can, you know, you know it's, it's not like we'll do this and it will just uh, give benefit for organic and not for Google Business Profile. Um, our Google Business Profile, they will likely have impacts for both, which is really, really good. So when we are going after you know improving our rankings there are broadly two parts of seo there's something called the on-site seo and then the off-site seo on-site seo is really you know, to, to do with everything on our website we had loads of control over this you know it's what words are we including what text what images what titles are we using how many pages how how quickly is this um, the, the site uh, running you know all those types of things are important that's called on-site seo and we need to make sure our our websites are optimized for on-site seo because if we have a website that for example loads really poorly Google will see this, people clicking your website will probably show their, um, you know, the, the fact that they are not happy with their website because, you know, as we all know, slow, slow moving, slow loading website, you know, lots of people will just click back and go to another website. So we need to make sure that it is optimized for, for our on-site SEO. So there's just a few things here I've put here. This is just a very, um, you know, just a, a small number of things that we do to make sure. Um, the home page, your, your main.com page is the most important page of your website. Um, you know, Google puts the most prominence and most importance on that web, so that, that web page. So make sure that this web page, out of all the web pages on your website, you know, is, is, is optimized best. Um, and there's a few things we need to make sure we, we're doing. So, you know, there'll be lots of like page titles on, on the page. Make sure it includes some of these high dollar keywords. Make sure it includes variations. Don't make it artificially, you know, uh, you know, 
mentioning house cleaning every single line. It looks uh, artificial and natural and Google will pick up on this. And actually, even, even if you did that and you get ranked higher with Google, if someone comes to your website and it, it reads very unnaturally, you will get a low conversion rate. So make it natural, but make sure you sprinkle your keywords around the, the titles. These are called the H1s, H2s, H3s. These, these refer to the different subtitles. Um, you know, images and videos are really important. You can add titles to those. You can add descriptions. Again, just sprinkle those keywords in there. It all helps Google to understand what your website is all about. Um, and, and, you know, related to that is the meta description, which is the description of the web page itself. And as I said, you know, site speed is something that's slightly different. It's a, it's, it's a bit more to do with technical SEO, but, you know, if you have lots of, lots of very large images, it's probably going to make your web pages load very slowly. And that's going to impact your things like your engagement rate, your bounce rate, and that will impact negatively your SEO ranking. So make sure that your site speed is up to, you know, up to scratch. There's lots of different, you know, um, tools out there where you can test how quickly or slowly your website is loading and some of the things that you can go to, to go about to change that. So you can simply go uh, Google that. Um, so this is to do a bit more with the technicalities, you know, the titles, the taggings, the descriptions, and then the site structure is important um, because, you know, we, we all run house cleaning businesses with a primary location. You know, as you grow, you may add, you know, two, three, four, you know, additional towns or cities. But to begin with, you usually set up your business in your home location, your hometown. Um, but, you know, when we set up uh, our website, you know, your homepage will be probably focused on your primary location. So let's say you're based in Omaha. Uh, in Nebraska. So your homepage might be talking about house cleaning in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. But as we know, in the big cities, the big towns, they'll often be sort of uh, suburbs, neighborhoods. And what you can do is build out your website. Google loves uh, content. So if you have uh, a one page website versus a five page website, generally Google will prefer a website with more content on there. So what you can do is you can create similar pages for your, uh, what I call sub locations. So things like, you know, your suburbs or smaller towns or satellite towns in your area. Um, and, you know, rather than talking about house cleaning in Nebraska, you could talk uh, in Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska, you could talk about house cleaning in a certain neighborhood in Omaha, Nebraska, and, you know, talk about, um, you know, have images for that location, maybe some client reviews uh, for, for clients that you service in that location um, as well. So when you start building out your website and adding these pages, that becomes really, uh, really important um, as well. So fresh and regular content, you know, you, you probably be aware that Google likes fresh and updated content. So when you build out your site in this way, this will all help feed the, feed the machine. So this refers to the on-site SEO. The off-site SEO is what happens away from your website. So it's, it's really to do with other websites linking back to your website. So let's say, as a very simple example, let's say you were uh, interviewed by your local newspaper about running a cleaning company, you know, post-COVID, for example. You know, they would likely run the article and at the bottom of the article on their website, they would probably have a link back to your web page. And that would be something called a backlink. And really, Google sees these as votes of confidence. You know, people generally don't backlink to other websites unless they find value in what that person is bringing. So generally, more backlinks uh, and backlinks from more authoritative sources uh, is is important. So you know, uh, we we can uh, we can build backlinks in various ways. Um, the citations talks about you know obviously your social media profiles and Yelp profiles and Bark, those are relatively easy to do. You just obviously create your own profile and you'll probably have a link that links back to your website. Um, you know, content backlinks take a bit more time. It's a bit more intensive, but it might be a case that you, you, you do a great article about uh, eco cleaning in the bathroom and, and you, you can find people that, you know, maybe some mums bloggers or some publications um, that are interested in eco cleaning, then you could contact them and say, we've created this content. 
you know, if, if you're interested, just send a backlink and, you know, uh, this, this might be helpful for your, your readership. So this can work really, really well. Um, you know, really, once we get the on-site SEO optimized and we're building out these locations, adding the content, adding the blog content, then it becomes a case of trying to build uh, and grow your backlink profile. So on-site SEO and off-site SEO are the two most important things. Um, as I said, you know, these two activities will help both our organic and our Google business profile section, our maps listings. Really, the main thing with the Google business profile is your reviews. You know, you need to make sure as a business that you're you're getting your clients, um, you know, re reviewing your business, send them links to your Google business profile, send them a text message, make it very easy for them to, to leave a review because Google looks at your review volume, your average rating, you know, as one of their key rankings. And then this third thing as well, you do, you can also post regularly on there. It is a sort of a social media post. So, you know, post in there regularly, sort of every week, you know, give an update on the business, maybe a coupon code, maybe an interview with one of your cleaners. Again, we're just showing Google that we are current, up to date, where our business is up and running, and it just shows that we're really, really relevant for our house cleaning uh, niche. So, this is a very quick run through of what we're doing, um, you know, and really it's all about, you know, how can we get these rankings? If we get these things right and we're doing it better than our competition, our rankings will grow up um, and, you know, we'll start getting more traffic and more leads coming through. So um, if you're interested in what we do, as I said, we work with loads of cleaning companies across the country on SEO. I'll leave a link in the description to, to our website, Project 83. If you found this video helpful, you know, please click uh, like and subscribe. It really, really helps me. Um, in this next video, we'll go into SEO in a bit more depth, go into, into these technicalities in a bit more detail, and it will really just help you to really up your, your, uh, the amount of knowledge that you have on this subject. So I look forward to seeing you on the next one.